I thought I liked to change, but I like the change that I anticipate, like going from one client to five clients or having, you know, two kids having three kids. If you wanna change your life, you have to change what you're looking at. You absolutely have to. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denango, and today we're talking about changing your perspective, okay? Right now, I'm sitting in front of the camera, you're watching me, cool. If you were sitting behind me, you would be like, who's that person talking to? Wow, they're they chatting with a friend, oh, this is so much fun. You gotta change the perspective. You gotta be able to see the camera to know what's going on, all right? So we're talking about the book. Didn't see that coming. The author of the book is Rachel Hollis. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is self-improvement. So I made this book review a couple weeks ago where I talked about how I got a part-time job, helped me pay for some stuff so they could take the pressure off of me while I was running my own business. Well, then that job was let go. And how could a job just be eliminated? So I'm not eliminated, but the role is eliminated. Please give me more details. Well, you wanna talk about didn't see that coming? I did not see that coming at all. And I started looking for books to express how I was feeling, to read about how somebody else was dealing with this. And this book came up and a number of other ones came up. And so the book starts off, I've never read any of Rachel Hollis's other books. And so off jump, she starts about how she's getting divorced after 16 years. Oh gut punch. And then she's writing about living through the pandemic. Didn't see that coming. And then she writes about how she wasn't expecting this for her business and how she's still grieving her brother. And there was a chapter in the book and it says, change your perspective. Okay. And she says, you have to arm yourself with examples of the perspective that you want. Look for teachers, writers, artists, and speakers who have the perspective you'd like to have or who have just processed something in a similar way to what you are going through. That is literally what I did right here. I picked up a book about somebody who was going through something that I am similarly going through to try to learn and gain lessons from it. And let me tell you, I hadn't considered changing my perspective. My job was eliminated. Is there any kind of misunderstanding? I don't understand. <laughs> but is my job eliminated so that now I can focus on my business 100%? Yeah. Is my job eliminated because I had mastered that task and now I can go learn something else? Yeah. Or are things just unfair that happen in life and what am I going to do about it? Yeah. Because all of those things can be true at the same time, right? I could have been great at the job. The job could be eliminated because it was just no longer needed. And this could be time for me to do something else. None of those things are bad. Okay. The one thing that stung the most was my lack of of participation in it, right? It's one of those things where you get told your job is eliminated. And so I felt like all of these decisions were being made for me and I wasn't a part of them. But I had to change my paradigm. I had to change my perspective because do I want to react or do I want to respond? And the response was, oh, that's unfortunate. What's next? The reaction would have been, ah, how dare you? You hurt my feelings. I love my job. Give me my job back. Girl, it's gone. <laughs> So I really needed to read this book, okay? I really enjoyed hearing Rachel talk about her brother and how unfair it was that she had to grow up at the age of 14. And she says, things just suck sometimes and there doesn't have to be anything else around it. Sometimes things just suck, right? But what she says is you will get up again. I'm not saying that in a toxic positivity way. I'm not saying that in, you will. It's gonna hurt for a long time. Her brother has been gone for 20 plus years. It still hurts. And she still gets up, she still pays her bills, she still keeps going, right? Cause you will. So change your perspective, even if you didn't see that coming, just know there are other people around and there are other people that will help you. Take a look at them, learn from them, learn from the masters, look from, learn from the teachers, all right? So if you are interested in another book oh, that I didn't see coming, but I absolutely loved, I reference it all the time. Check out this book here it's called Entrepreneurial You. I didn't see myself being a business owner, but I adopted to it. And now I absolutely love it. And I have a little bit more time to spend doing it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.